Yeah, proud of our guys. You know, uh, Illinois State was playing really good basketball coming in here tonight. Obviously, coming back from uh, Indiana State, being ready to go. I thought we got off to a great start tonight. First half was up and down. We didn't shoot the ball extremely well in the first half, obviously. But again, the guys came out in that second half. I thought our ball pressure throughout the game kind of wore them down a little bit. And we were able to generate offense from the turnovers, which was huge. And then we took care of the ball. Um, and, and if we keep doing that, that's winning basketball. So proud of our guys' effort. Um, you know, it, it doesn't stop. Obviously, we got another one on Tuesday. So we got to keep getting ready and keep playing well. We've talked about this before, obviously, but what about this team enables it to, to be able to turn the switch on in the second half the way it has lately? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I think our, our, our depth is, is important. You know, I think different guys come off the bench and contribute to us. You know, we don't only rely on five or six guys. If they're playing ten guys, you got different guys on different nights stepping up. And I think just in terms of over the course of 40 minutes, we try not to change how we play. You know, we try to play hard every single possession. And, you know, maybe when the game gets to 30, 35 minutes, it starts to wear, wear on team a little bit. What about Scotty, Scotty's contribution off the bench? Uh, is that kind of what you foresee him being able to do as he gets you know, more into himself and getting more minutes uh, here? Yeah, Scotty was huge for us. You know, We didn't have a ton of momentum there at the end of the first half, and we did a great job closing that half out. He got a big three-point play there to end the half. Yeah, he's getting you know, more and more in shape, uh, back healthy again, and you know, he's got to continue to play hard for us, and you know, he can do some things on the court that can really help us, so we got to continue to utilize him. Well, changing the lineup tonight, is that something you kind of look at when you look at video, metrics, whatever, that kind of helps you uh, determine maybe it's it's time to try something else, or how does that go? Yeah, I mean, we have all the analytics that we review after every single game, all the plus minuses, lineup rotations, and all that, and I think, too, just in terms of knowing your team and trying to get a feel, you know, we haven't got off to great starts and, you know, it's not anyone's fault, you know, uh, it wasn't Trent's fault that we didn't get off to a good start, it's not Marcus Lance, Clarence, X's, it's just figuring out different guys and different rotations and um, trying to get the best group out there to start the game and I thought those guys who started, started well tonight. You mentioned starting, as a coach, does it concern you to know that you have to keep coming from behind to win these types of games? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, we just, I think we're, we didn't, we let them get a couple threes in that first half. I thought we were ready to go. I thought we were ready to play. I thought we guard well the first five minutes of the game. They hit an off the backboard three, and then McChesney had a couple open looks, and he's shooting 70% from three in conference. We just, that's just a miss on the scouting report. We can't let that happen. And then, uh, you know, offensively, we went one for 10 from three in that first half. It's going to be tough to be able to, you know, offensively, if you're taking 10 threes, you know, only making one of them. Um, so it's concerning. You know, we got to play better than we are in, the, in these first half. But, you know, proud of our guys. You know, it's not like they're coming off and, and being down. They, they, they have a great competitive will about themselves, and they believe they're going to win, I think, every time they step on the court. And going off of that, on the flip side, it's got to also be nice to know that, hey, you could be down as many as 15 and come back and win a game. Yeah, it's a high-character team. All these guys have won before, and I think, um, you know, it's a very competitive group. You know, I think they understand when they don't play well, we're not playing our best. But in terms of trying to win the game, all these guys are about winning. Do you feel maybe this year more than most, even if you're down, you have that feeling of, hey, we're never out of it because of the character? Yeah, I think character experience, you know, Lance, Marcus, those guys have been in a lot of games now. You know, I think they know what it takes. It's a possession by possession game, you know, and if you can play the same way each possession in terms of your effort, your intensity, trying to do the little things over 40 minutes, I think that pays off. Lance told us he didn't really want us have the team win it for you because it was your birthday, but I mentioned you guys had a cake last night. How much, how good does this feel, you know, being a birthday present from the team? Yeah, yeah, it's great. I wish it was my birthday every game day if we're going to win every game. Another home game, another come from behind victory. What, what, how do you guys just flip the switch come second half? Um, you know, I feel like we actually started good this game. Uh, you know, we uh, kind of let them get into the rhythm. Uh, they took the lead, and we finished out the half strong. Um, we knew what it took. Uh, we came into halftime. Uh, you know, saying what it took to, you know, get a win. We had to stop them from getting in the paint so much. We had to box out. Uh, you know, I think everybody came up with the right mindset. Uh, we wanted to come out aggressive and, uh, you know, make that uh, make them call the first time out. And I think we came out with uh, the right mindset and, you know, did just that. What, are this, what is it with this group that's kind of allowed you guys to be able to do this time and time again here lately in conference play? Is it kind of the lessons you learned the last couple of years, kind of being older, more mature, just kind of understanding what it has to be done? What is it? Yeah, I think it's that. Uh, you know, I think it's the hunger and the resiliency of this team. Um, you know, uh, you know, we're seeing some of uh, we're a lot older, 
than before. Um, we know what it takes. It's a hard league to let, win in. And, uh, you know, we wanted to just keep everybody uh, confident, uh, keep them level-headed, and, you know, just come out with the right mindset in the second half. What is the, you look down the score and you know, not, not a you know not a lot of double figure guys, but you had nine guys score, and Scotty gives you a big contribution off the bench. Yeah, uh, that kind of what we come to expect from this team in terms of the depth here lately. Uh, yeah, you know, Coach, uh, you know, he praises strength in numbers. Um, you know, that was on full display tonight. Uh, you know, Scotty came in and you know gave a great lift for us uh, to end out that half uh, with offensive rebounds, buckets, and you know, that and one to close out the half. <clears throat> um, and I think you know everybody when their name is called, they're ready. Um, and, you know, we have we have faith in everybody. You know, I, I have I put my trust in everybody on this team. Um, and, you know, I think when we come out like that, uh, you know, everybody contributes like that. We're going to be a really hard team to beat. Okay, you can see, what can you see Scotty doing as he gets more minutes and kind of kind of grows into himself as a player a little bit more with his size and strength inside? Uh, you know, Scotty comes out with that fire. Um, you know, he comes off the bench with fire. Uh, he brings a lot of energy for us. You know, something that uh, you know we're, we're missing in that moment. Um, you know, for example, today he came in, got an offensive rebound, uh, and that that put back. You know, that just uh, got the crowd into it. You know, he's a fan favorite. Uh, that got the crowd into it, and you know that got us going as well. When uh, when Scotty's in there, does that change your offensive sets a lot? Um, it seems like you go inside a lot more when he's there, which makes sense. Yeah, uh, you know, Coach tries to uh, you know call a little bit more plays for him, uh, just because you know he's a big body down there. Uh, and you know he's really strong, so um, and he's really athletic. Um, so I feel like wherever we throw that ball around the basket, he's going to go up and get it. Uh, and one thing about Scott, he's going to give his best, um, no matter how many times he messes up or fouls. Um, one thing we can guarantee from Scott is his best. Good teams obviously find ways to win, whether it be close games or by large margins. Yeah. You guys are showing you can do that, especially given that deficit. At some point, though, you hope the magic doesn't run out. Yeah. It, it might. What is it in the second half that gets you guys going? Is it uh, extra halftime speech? Is it extra Gatorade? What makes it? What makes you guys just suddenly turn things on and get through that slow start? Um, you know, uh, we kind of just want to, you know, uh, if we have a bad first half, we kind of want to just put that behind us. Uh, we don't want to, you know, think about too much on it. Um, but we do want to talk about what we need to correct. Um, you know, I think everybody, you know, takes the constructive criticism from each other and from the coaches. And, uh, you know, everybody just feeds in and, you know, listens to one another. Um, and I think that's uh, what's been helping us come out in the second half. But uh, hopefully, you know, we can just play a full 40 minutes uh, to where we're not climbing back in the second half and uh, we can just play a complete game. Did you guys kind of want to give this one to Coach Mullins given his birthday just happened? Uh, yeah, you know, we didn't really talk about it too much. Um, you know, we kind of told him happy birthday, you know, had cake with him last night. Um, so, you know, it's always just good to get a win. And, you know, this one's just uh, a little bit more special today.